Did you know that the Chiefs is one team that enjoyed the longest stretch without a championship victory in NFL history? Yeah, they went 50 grueling years without the title, but guess what? It all ended with a defensive play. The defense is that good, and in today's video, we'll be looking at the top 10 Kansas City Chiefs defense highlights over the years. And at number 10, the Chiefs defense wasted no time punishing the Raiders for disrespecting the team and its logo. Number 10. Scope and Score In 2021, NFL teams were taught not to play with the Chiefs' name, and the Raiders were the scapegoat. And best believe that the embarrassment was thorough. So the Las Vegas Raiders made an ill-fated decision to stomp on the Chiefs' logo at midfield during pregame warm-ups. This act led to a chorus of boos, but the Raiders felt quite proud of themselves for riling up the fans. But, oh, they paid for that sin, and early in the game, too. So Josh Jacobs took the handoff on the opening play from scrimmage, but before you know it, he got stripped and Mike Hughes immediately seized the opportunity to score. Oh boy, and it only gets worse from there as they ended up losing 48-9 to the Chiefs. Plus, that made for their second most lopsided regular season loss in the Super Bowl era. The lesson was clear, don't disrespect Arrowhead. At number 9 is the time the Chiefs defense used a QB to highlight how good they were. Number 9. Smack that! The quarterback in question is David Mills, and although he passed for two touchdowns and passed for 121 yards, didn't end the game as a hero. You see, Houston had used the two-quarterback system of Mills and backup Jeff Driscoll in their previous game, but against the Chiefs, it failed. Why? The Chiefs' defense. First off, you should know that Mills had had an impressive game up until that point, when he took off in a scramble with hopes of escaping the Chiefs' defense. But once he made the move, he ran into trouble, as Kansas City defensive end Frank Clark smacked the ball out of his hand. It ricocheted off the QB's leg and into the hands of linebacker Willie Gay. The mistake was so expensive it ended the Texans' chance of pulling off an upset victory. Alright, so who or what is next for the Chiefs to punish? How about punishing Rivers? Number 8. Crimea Rivers At the Aztec Stadium, the Chiefs made the Chargers cry with a one-score loss that ended 24-17 to the Kansas City Chiefs. How did it happen? Tell everybody! Tell the city Chiefs! Chiefs first! Okay, so in the closing seconds, QB Rivers moved the Chargers into position to possibly tie the score or win the game. So he launched a 50-yard completion to Mike Williams, who incredibly rose above the defenders, plucked the ball from the air, and gave the Chargers a fighting chance. But then, four snaps later, Rivers made a similar pass to Austin Eckler near the goal line. But this time, it was intercepted by Chief Safety Daniel Sorensen in the final 20 seconds. Sad for the Chargers, they lost and dropped to 4-7, while the first-place Chiefs improved to 7-4 atop the AFC West. Now at number 7 is proof that good defenses boost the performance of their QBs by breaking opponent quarterbacks. Number 7. Alien Interception So, since around 2022, many people consider Justin Herbert and Patrick Mahomes to be football-throwing aliens making uncanny passes all over the place. And for the most part, it was true. So in a 2022 game between the Chargers and the Chiefs, Herbert put on a great show with dazzling throws. But at the end of the day, the difference was the Chiefs' quality defense. You see, Herbert was incredible as he completed 23 of 30 passes for 280 yards and two touchdowns, and also rushed for 17 yards. But it was never to be. The Chargers got the ball with 31 seconds remaining in the fourth quarter. It was with Herbert, and he tried to find space for the right pass, but then he got into trouble with the Chiefs' mounting pressure. He's forced to throw the ball away, only for it to be intercepted by Nick Bolton for the Chiefs. Feeling trapped? Well, leave it to the Chiefs' defense to take it to the house at number 6. Number 6. Take it to the house In a Sunday night showdown against the Broncos, the Kansas City Chiefs showcased their formidable defense prowess once again. The win cemented their position as one of the AFC's top-tier teams. All of a sudden, KC's defense has suddenly become a force to be reckoned with. In the previous five games before this game, the Chiefs' defense had been nothing short of exceptional. Over the span of nine quarters, they allowed just one lonely touchdown. And it was a mere consolation prize for the Broncos late in the fourth quarter, when the outcome was all but decided. With just under 10 minutes left in the fourth quarter, the Chiefs' defense continued to shine as Daniel Sorensen intercepted Broncos quarterback Teddy Bridgewater, returning the ball an impressive 75 yards to the end zone for a dazzling pick six. And with that, the Chiefs got a 22-3 lead. And after the play, Sorensen had one tackle, one pass breakup, one interception, and a touchdown. But look, just months later and against the Broncos again, running back Melvin Gordon III loses a fumble after a hit from Chiefs' Melvin Ingram. Instantly, Nick Bolton picked up the ball and returned it for a touchdown. Coach Andy Reid felt happy and praised the defense's ability to buckle down. 
but I'm curious to know how he feels about the GOAT losing his balls. Number 5. Tom Brady Lost His Balls First, the game was a QB duel between Tom Brady and Patrick Mahomes, but the KC QB threw for three touchdowns to outduel Tom Brady. The Chiefs' 41-31 win gave lots of satisfaction in a rematch of Super Bowl 55. Brady, not to be outdone, fired three touchdown passes of his own, but it wasn't sufficient to prevent Tampa Bay from stumbling to their second consecutive loss after a promising 2-0 start to the season. The Buccaneers' defense, which typically packs a punch, had a sluggish start, allowing Kansas City and Patrick Mahomes to execute their playbook with near impunity. By the end of the first quarter, the Chiefs had a commanding lead, 14-3 setting the stage for an action-packed showdown. And just when the Bucks seemed to be gaining momentum, Brady was brought down under intense pressure, leading to a fumble that gifted the Chiefs' prime field position at the Bucks' 20-yard line. In the end, Mahomes went home with the victory, but at number 4, a defender went home with the Hand of God. Number 4. Hand of God The Hand of God is well-known in another sport called football, but no, we're not talking about scoring here. We're talking about a one-handed catch. But listen, one-handed catches aren't just for receivers. Yes, Chiefs Traverius Ward did it during the third quarter of the Chiefs game against the Texans at Arrowhead Stadium. But then the Houston Texans came away with a 31-24 victory to put the Chiefs 4-2 after starting the season with four straight wins. Wide receiver Tyreek Hill first caught him a Mahomes pass that looked like it was going to be intercepted, but somehow he managed to wrestle his way into the end zone for a touchdown. Nonetheless, the best catch in the match came from cornerback Traverius Ward. You see, Ward had been covering Texans and DeAndre Hopkins when Houston quarterback Deshaun Watson threw the ball to Hopkins. But then, the Ward kept him under lock and key in that play. Hopkins got mossed. And that's as twisted as it gets. But here's what you shouldn't get twisted. It would be great if you could hit the subscribe button, then the like button, then the notification bell so you don't miss any of our fun videos. Alright, let's get back to it. Number 3. 99 Yards of Glory for a Rookie Jalen Watson's story in the NFL is nothing short of incredible. After spending time and effort in his college football career, he had to take a break from it to work at Wendy's to make some money. I had to try to find a job. The only place I could get was Wendy's where my mom was working. This journey would eventually lead him to the NFL, but even when he got in, he had to wait for an opportunity. Finally, his opportunity came when the Chiefs came up against the Chargers. Right into the first corner, the Chiefs fell behind 10-0 and spent most of the game playing catch-up. They needed help. And who would believe it would come from a rookie? So, Justin Herbert resigned T.E. Gerald Everett when Watson stepped in front of the pass with 10.29 to go and ran for an incredible 99 yards to the end zone. The Chiefs would turn the game around and win. But more incredible is how a young man can go from working at Wendy's to getting drafted and then having a game-changing pick six on your first interception. What a story. But at number two is another story about what happens when you step into shark-infested waters. Number 2. Shark Infested Waters 2019 was an incredible year for the Chiefs and their defense was beyond amazing. And among them was Clark, aka The Shark. The Shark had been out for blood and was doing things like taking Watson down at the 25-yard line. When the Chiefs faced off against the Tennessee Titans, Clark took things to a whole nother level. Leading up to the game, Clark didn't mince words and played down the threat posed by Derrick Henry despite the running back's many exploits. True to his word. Henry was limited to just 69 yards and one touchdown. But a major highlight of the match was when Clark sacked quarterback Ryan Tannehill. What a night it was! The Chiefs ran out 35-24 to winners. And just like that, the AFC Championship went from on the verge to in the bag and Arrowhead Stadium exploded with Super Bowl fuel. But they still had a job to do against the 49ers. Number 1. End of a 50-year wait the atmosphere at Super Bowl 54 was epic. Even nature expected a game like never before, and once the game started, whew, it was on. As Super Bowl 54 unfolded, Clark the Shark had been on the verge of sacking Jimmy Garoppolo numerous times throughout the game, but in the late stages of the fourth quarter, he finally got his moment. With that, KC was able to set up running back Damian Williams for a 38-yard touchdown run. This gave the Chiefs a 31-20 lead over the 49ers, with 1-12 left to play. Still, the 49ers continued to fight back until Kendall Fuller, who'd been having a great game, decided to end it all spectacularly. With the Niners trailing 31-20 late in the fourth quarter, Fuller took flight and pulled down a jump ball interception in acrobatic fashion. That was it. The game was set, and KC finally had their first Super Bowl title in 50 years. So, would you say that was the best defense in the NFL that year? Let us know in the comments. Also, let us know what kind of video you'd like to see next.